Well, hello folks, uh, Sam Owens here with uh, another tip uh, to help you through life. And uh, I know most all of you have a computer and uh, you have a mouse. And a lot of times uh, we all get the wireless uh, mouse uh, keyboard combination, which makes it great. But if you have trouble with your mouse and you just want to replace the mouse, you're left with, if you get another mouse, then your keyboard is not going to work or you're going to have to have two doggles in your uh, computer, one for the new mouse and one for the old keyboard. So what this video is going to help you with is when your mouse uh, starts uh, intermittent responses, like uh, you try to click on a link and you press the the left mouse button, nothing happens. You press it again, nothing happens. You press it hard, and then it will work. Another thing that tells you you're having trouble with the, uh, the uh, buttons on your mouse is you're trying to highlight uh, some text to copy, and you push down and you drag it along and then it disappears or it starts over again. And then you find that you have to push real hard on the left mouse button to get it to respond properly in a copy and paste uh, operation. Well, I looked into that and said, I don't want to replace uh, the whole keyboard and this. I think I'll figure out how to open this up and look and see just what's going on that's causing this problem. Well, just to keep you watching, I did solve the problem, and I'm going to show you how you can check your mouse and uh, see if you can correct it. Uh, so, uh, bear with me. Now, when you're ready to uh, take the mouse apart, you're going to need a set of precision screwdrivers. They are the small flat tip and uh, Phillips tip screwdrivers that you'll need to get the screw apart. So have that handy before you attempt this because uh, once you get access to the screw that takes this apart, uh, you're going to uh, not have the screwdriver to do it. Okay, they're not expensive either. <clears throat> All right, to start on the bottom of uh, any device usually is the battery compartment shows a symbol of the battery and which direction you pull to open it. There's a recessed area, a power switch over here, and we could turn it off <clears throat> just for the fun of it. Okay, and this is the sensor over here that uh, picks up where your mouse is located. So you want to make sure that that's always clean. So if you see a bunch of uh, dirt and debris in there, you want to clean that out. Okay, take this loose. Now, remove the battery. Just like any device, most times there's a screw that holds the device uh, together, the cases together, and the battery compartment is the perfect place to always look for a screw. Sometimes they'll put the screws underneath uh, a little place like this, which are the pads that... Uh, uh, I was trying it and I saw that it was not and that there's a screw here. So, <clears throat> once you find one screw, usually in something like this, that's all that holds it. Now, what you're going to look for is a screwdriver Phillips that will fit it. And this is it, a number zero Phillips tip. Okay, now, let me just get my flashlight just to be sure you really see it. See, it's right next to the uh, plus sign there. Okay, now I'm going to put my screwdriver in there and I have a little uh, something down here to protect the bottom of it from scarring it up or what have you. And a gentle pressure down for the ones that haven't used a screwdriver before. Hopefully uh, you've done that. Now, you unscrew it 
and a lot of times the screwdriver is magnetic you see so you don't want to drop this on the floor carpet so make sure you're doing this in an area that you're not going to drop this in some place that's going to be hard uh, to retrieve so some dining room table or something would be nice with a towel out okay once you've taken that loose you find your small flat tip screwdriver which will give you a prying area now since you took the screw out of the back side, that's what's holding this part uh, together. They use tabs on the front that go in to hold the front, so there are no screws for the front part. So I'm going to show you how this works. Okay, a lot of times you can just take your screwdriver and just push in this little area right here where the seam is between the gray there. Once I push just a little bit, it'll pop. You see how that popped up? Now, you gently hold the bottom like this and then just pull. Actually, I'm going to hold it like this. I'm trying to show you. And then I'm prying up while I'm pulling out, pulling back this way. So I pull it back. There. Okay, and I'll put this down. And see, these little clips right here are holding it to these two so you see that's what holds that down so you wouldn't want to you wouldn't want to pry this up or you take a chance of breaking the so uh, I'm cautioning you about that so it's a matter of sliding in and out and then pushing it down we'll go through the assembly later but now we've got access to uh, the areas that are causing us problems. And that's these two areas right here. Here's the button on the left and the right uh, that we click. And here's the rolling wheel. And uh, this button on the left is right there. And this button on the right is there. So if you'll look in here now notice I've already corrected mine and you see those little uh, tabs those are sticky labels that I cut two small pieces out of I cut one first stuck it on and then I cut another one close to the same size and stuck it on top to give me some thickness <clears throat> apparently what it is is either the button here and you push it you're going to hear a click let's see maybe you don't hear it but if you push these buttons you'll feel it this one is a little lighter it's lower down that may be because you push it let's see i'm sorry it's this one that I made the uh, contact with. Okay. So for whatever reason, uh, this needs more thickness to push this more down. And see, there's your screw. You, I better put that over there. Or I'll be looking for it. <clears throat> so uh, what I'm doing is I'm adding thickness. You can use any, if you have some labels, don't go out and buy just any kind of sticky labels that have a good stickiness to it, you can peel it off <clears throat> with some scissors or whatever. You cut you a couple of little nice areas. That, actually, this right here is what I really use. And you can stick the little square on there and then gently position it and then hold it and pull your screwdriver out. So... <clears throat> After a short little bit, you'll see how to, uh, to connect those. Okay, two was enough for me to secure a good, strong uh, click. So now, when I push my left mouse button, it's dead on every time I can copy, paste, click with just the one operation without having to press very, very hard. So... Uh, one other thing is I found up in here 
all kinds of dust and stuck material that had picked up from my mouse operation and was deposited right in there. So I cleaned that all out. So when you open this up and you find any dirt or stuff, kind of pull that out. It kind of wads up and sticks right there. So uh, I don't know how it gets in there, but it does. So uh, there you go. Now, <clears throat> let's, uh, since I've already corrected it, and that is the correction. So when you have this upside down, make sure that you put your, uh, your little sticky, no, uh, sticky material on the correct side. See, when I take it over this way, this is the left mouse button. So when I turn it over this way, this is the left mouse button. <clears throat> it works. So you may be able to correct your mouse just by this operation. And it will stay in place because it's right in contact with this little push button. <clears throat> you might want to push the push buttons to make sure they do click. You'll feel the click in there. If it's not clicking good, then your mouse may not work uh, correctly, and it's because of this switch right here being bad. If that's the case, then you might as well go ahead and get you a new uh, setup. But this is gonna be troubleshooting that will help you to maybe correct your mouse without having to replace it. Okay, now let's put it back together. <clears throat> the way you do it is First, remember these tabs right here have to go under there. And so what I do is I put that side in first, push up, and see, it's level. And then I bring the back side down, like that, <clears throat> holding it. And it should be fitting all the way down close. Then holding it together like this, I take the screwdriver, the Phillips, and I'm holding her, and I can put the screw, screw into the screwdriver and it'll hold it there. And then if I tip it just right, I can guide it into the hole. And then once I have it guided in, I'm still holding it together. I gently screw it together not cross threading if it's going in hard kind of move the screw around until you get it to where it goes easy cross threading is not good okay and then give it a gentle when it hits bottom it'll get hard to turn don't over tighten it doesn't have to be uh, torqued down to 20 foot foot pounds okay now i can let go and it's all assembled i push the button and everything works good now, I put the battery back in, and there's usually a symbol that shows you this is the positive. I, I try to do this because there may be people watching this that have not done this and doesn't really know which uh, way to put the battery in. So that's why I say there's a plus sign there. This is always plus, the little uh, tip, okay? And usually the spring-loaded part is the negative. Okay, pop her in there like that. And now I have it off, so nothing's gonna happen. I put the case back on, and again, it goes right like that, and then push, and it clicks. Okay, now the mouse should work, and on here is off and on. I'm gonna turn it on. <clears throat> I'm going to open up something. Uh, let's see, I'm just gonna click on something right there. It was a nice click, one, just a, a normal click. I didn't have to push down real hard. That's the first indication. If you click and it, nothing happens and you have to do it more than once. I didn't have to buy a new mouse and keyboard and I'm trying to save you. So take your mouse apart, watch all of my video and see if you can correct yours. I wanna thank you for watching and I hope this solves your mouse problem.